So here we go. So let's go back to June 1, the beginning of meteorological summer. That was the drought uh, situation across the Dallas Fort Worth area. We had some moderate drought in Denton. We had some moderate to severe drought to the southwest of Fort Worth and also to the west of Fort Worth. So that was June 1. Now remember, we know that the summer is the driest time of the year here across North Texas and across the whole state for that matter. But I want to take a look at where we are to date right now again. To your point in Denton, it never rains in Denton, nor does it in Decatur or in Fort Worth. We have extreme drought that's moved back in there. It hasn't really changed a whole lot in the last six or seven weeks to the southwest of us, but the drought has worsened just a bit across all of North Texas. So we have that. Now I want to take a look at the whole state. I want to go back to June 1, right? Hill Country, it's bad down there. Look what's happening out in West Texas and also up in the Panhandle. Things are bad. But then when you look at today, I mean, it's pretty remarkable that the drought has gone across the panhandle in the northern sections of West Texas. It's improved greatly out in West Texas. It's still horrible down here in Hill Country and even uh, even East Texas, Southeast Texas, South Texas ha has improved. So we have that going for us. So that's the latest drought conditions. Now remember, it's worse in here in Dallas, Fort Worth uh, in North Texas. And then you throw in these 100 degree plus temperatures. Again, things have started to dry out from Fort Worth and then locations west we have an elevated fire danger and it's for the rest of the week and quite candidly this most likely will last into next week and the week after because I just don't have enough rain in my forecast to really uh, you know limit this or tamp this down at all so an elevated fire danger it's hot it's dry uh, the droughts in place we have dry fuels we have breezy conditions very very low humidity in those areas and we also have some burn bans that are in effect right now please check your counties for the latest but Johnson County Jack Young Palo Pinto Eastland and Comanche County right now we have six counties right now in our viewing area that are under burn ban. So once again, please check uh, your county for the latest information. And there's your rainfall for the next 10 days. I have 20% coverage Saturday and Sunday. But I mean, you know, it's not going to add up to much. Any thunderstorms that we have around here, you're going to have some isolated higher amounts. But generally speaking, you won't pick up any rain as we head through the next 10 days. And if you do, it'll generally be some pretty light stuff unless it's really isolated across the area. How much time do I have, Ed? Minute 10. Minute 10. Can I go back here? Let me very quickly. Here's, here's this big ridge of high pressure. What is this? This is the heat dome across the area. And this is through the weekend. High pressure stays in control. I hit one, We hit 106 today. I'm going 107 tomorrow is uh, this high stays near us. The heat dome stays near us. 104 on Wednesday, 103 on Thursday, Friday 101. It starts to back up. A weak front moves into the area. Saturday's high is only 96. Sunday's high is 98. It's still hot, but at least it's a heck of a lot better than it was today and that it was that it will be as we head through the day tomorrow. So with all of that said, my forecast tonight, 82 tonight, breezy, warm, muggy. There's the 107 tomorrow, a very hot, a dangerously hot hot day, a breezy day tomorrow. We have the excessive heat warning and the heat advisory uh, in place for all of North Texas tomorrow. So hot temps, no record highs with those triple digits.